So let's pretend you have a leaky bucket beneath a drippy faucet. If the water supply pressure drops, slowing down the rate of the drips, and this matches the rate that the bucket leaks, you have a situation where water in equals water out. On the other hand, if the pressure goes up again and the drip rate increases, so it fills the bucket faster than the bucket can leak it out, eventually the bucket will overfill. And still you'll have as much water coming in as is leaving. However, if you have the situation where no matter how fast the water is dripping, you keep on increasing the size of the bucket, the bucket can never fill. So ultimately, more water is coming in than can leave the bucket. This is an imbalance. In a basic sense, this is the greenhouse effect. But the faucet is the sun. Instead of water, we have energy. And the reservoir is our atmosphere filled with greenhouse gases. In the first scenario, where the leaky bucket matched the rate of the drips, we're greeted with a situation which is fairly similar to the climate skepticism that states that at previous times in history, greenhouse gas concentration was far higher, but we didn't have very high temperatures. The scientific answer to this is that at that current time, solar activity was far lower equivalent to the lower pressure of the water supply. So even though there was a far higher reservoir, it just couldn't be filled. The second scenario is a stable environment. You should be able to balance up the energy that's coming in and going out. The third scenario is what we're currently experiencing. And this is why when scientists say that even if we stopped emitting greenhouse gases today, temperatures will still rise. We haven't filled the reservoir to its brim. We have an imbalance in the energy flow. More energy is being retained. So even at current greenhouse gas concentrations, the temperature should be higher and will be higher when it reaches equilibrium. And that's a concerning fact. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks.